So I'm, uh, I'm here in uh, Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, uh, at the Affiliate Summit uh, 2010. I'm here with uh, Morgan Linton, of, uh, who is uh, quite involved in the uh, domain investment and domain uh, television uh, business. Uh, Morgan, tell us a little bit more. Sure, yeah. Well, thank you for having me here, Michael. Uh, essentially, there's, there's two things that I do. Uh, I have a uh, domain investment company called Legion Investments that's uh, based in Los Angeles. Uh, so we approach domain investing uh, kind of from a different standpoint than a lot of other domain investors. Rather than focusing on buying and selling our domain names, we look for monetization. So a lot of my background is in SEO. I've been in SEO for about 15 years now. So I look at buying keyword-rich domain names and using that huge bonus you get when you buy a domain name that has exact match keywords. Uh, so you can rank on search engines rather than the pay for my traffic. I can get my traffic for free. I just have to do some work up front. Uh, and then I'm here at the show uh, learning more about some affiliate networks we can use uh, for our site, as well as uh, filming my own television show called TheMainInvestors.tv. It's my blog, which is a blog where I write on. I also do videos, and I'm developing a television show on the blog. Uh, it's coming out next year. Likes and everything, which you can't see in this image. Well, very cool. Well, tell me about how social media is working and some of your plans for the growth of your business. Sure. I mean, social media is, is huge, and really for any business, whether it's an online business or a physical business, uh, if you're not taking part in the social media world, then you're going to be in a huge space. I think that really Twitter and Facebook are, uh, are two of the areas that uh, I've used the most, and uh, that I still watch it uh, Twitter, I really didn't get as involved as I should have early on, and uh, actually, Jamie Sidney, I'm going to talk to you next, Jeff Patrick was uh, pretty much the guy that taught me really how to use social media to my advantage, um, and actually reaching out to people, communicating with people, and that's I think, one thing that people miss about something like Twitter and Facebook, which is they just blast information about themselves. I wrote this post, I read this article, or here's a quote. Rather than looking at what other people are writing and saying, oh, this guy wrote this, oh, I'm interested in you. Hey, I'm interested in that too, I'm talking about that. Or reaching out to Facebook to people that are in a similar industry. I think that's one of the keys to using social media to brand your business is to actually do searches on Facebook, do searches on Twitter, find people that are creative and writing about the information you're interested in, and engage them because you'll probably find a lot in common. People have a lot in common. So I'm sure there's a lot of people out there uh, that may own uh, extensive uh, uh, portfolios of different uh, domain names. How can you help them? Uh, well, my company actually can help them in, in a number of ways. What we do is we do uh, development projects from one-page landing sites to five-page landing sites to full-scale blogs. Um, so essentially, we can take any property. We don't just develop any domain. We actually do the research before we develop, and we actually make sure that there are enough Google searches that we need to work for a while. And then we find uh, the right affiliate networks. We make sure that the sites are designed in a way that are easy to navigate. Uh, we have a series of different templates that we've used that we've created in-house that we already know rank right really well. And a great example is we had a client that came to us. Uh, he has a few hundred domain names. He said, look, I want to monetize my domains. I want to do this one and that one. We usually say, look, take a step back, focus. Let's find your top 10 domain names and develop those out. And we just uh, developed a name for him uh, literally eight days ago. And he just emailed me yesterday and said it's in the first page of Google. Wow. So that's the kind of stuff we do. Uh, uh, recently, there's been this natural language names. Uh, how do you see the growth of that market affecting the domains? Uh, natural language names being actually using uh, their native characters, the IDN stuff. Yes. yes, that will that will definitely have an effect because obviously, if you're in China, your keyboard is in Chinese, you're typing in Chinese, your domain name should be in Chinese. Sure. Um, I think that will have somewhat of an effect. At the same time, the domaining market right now uh, is very U.S. and North America centric. Mm -hmm. uh, the .com has been king for a long time. I've actually had a lot of success in the U.S. and I look into other spaces like uh, .in or .co. But I think from a domain investing standpoint, it's not going to have much of an effect because people are still so focused on that U.S. market. And I think that's what happens with, with products also. If you look at consumer electronics, um, I was at CES last week. I mean, consumer electronics companies, no matter where they're based, they come out with all their hot products in the U.S. And sometimes if you look at like uh, Australian companies, Canadian companies, sometimes they can't even get licensing agreements for either film or music in their own countries, but they're so focused on the U.S. market. So. I think that is going to create some stability, but it does create a lot of opportunity in areas like Asia, where I think it's been a long time coming. So you think there's a bit of a land rush in the Cyrillic and the other uh, 
native uh, uh, language uh, alphabet? Do you think there's a plan going on for that? Could be. I can't say I've done enough research to really know how much interest there is. I think there certainly would be. I know that when any product adds a new language to their side, that they're they tend to open up bigger markets. I think that, um, yeah, I think in the Cyrillic space, I think in Chinese, Japanese, Korean, I mean, Korea has more, has higher broadband penetration as a percentage of the population uh, than the U.S. Mm -hmm. So I think for them, that's huge. And I think that all, you know, there's always going to be a savvy group of people that understand the idea of domaining and domain investing. But it's still a small world. I mean, the domain world is a, a tiny microcosm right now that, I think it's just getting ready to expand, so when you're looking at a niche, like the IDN space, I think it still has a long way to go. Well, maybe there'll be more uh, uh, episodes for your uh, future television shows. Absolutely. I'll have to Chinese or something. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, Lenny, is there any parting shots for our uh, audience today that you'd like to leave them with? Sure, yeah. I mean, really, for me, what I really believe in is that, you know, you can, all, all the good domain names are not taken. You can buy a domain name, whether you're hand registering it or buying it from somebody else or buying it off of a drop, you can take that domain and actually turn it into a piece of real estate online. And just through some simple SEO techniques, just having that exact match of those keywords, hitting on the first page of Google and Yahoo, that's free traffic, revenue for your business, and you know, you believe it, you can do it. So, well, Morgan, uh, tell them how they can find you, and... Uh... Absolutely, so uh, you can find uh, my company at lintoninvestments.com, that's L-I-N-T-O-N investments.com. You can also read my blog, watch my blog, and see me in action at DomainVestors.tv. It's not Domain Investors, it's DomainVestors.tv. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing right. good stuff. Michael, thanks for having me. My pleasure. All right.